Sony's new CI Tools dashboard is packed with a ton of features that will help streamline your next TV install. Let's check it out. I'm Russell with Sony Electronics, and today I'm going to show you all that CI Tools has to offer. This special feature was made specifically for you, our custom integrator, and it's available on our compatible J and K series TVs that use our XR processor. Before we fire up this new feature, you'll want to make sure that you have the latest firmware update. Once you've confirmed your TV is up to date, we are ready to get things started. I recommend navigating to the home screen first. Simply hit that home button on the Sony remote control. Next, you're going to want to press the following buttons in sequence, input, mute, and mute. On the third button press, you're going to want to make sure you hold mute for about three seconds. You'll know this feature has worked when you see a screen pop up asking you to allow permissions. Check that allow box. We're now in the dashboard. Okay, we're going to first kick things off with our picture mode and motion flow settings. Um, and this adjustment we can go through and we can configure the picture mode based on the source that's connected to that specific input. So for example, here HDMI 1, if I wanted to go through and I wanted to have this set to maybe cinema, I can do that. I can set the HDMI 2 to maybe standard, HDMI 3, I can go and put to game. You kind of get the idea here. Um, when you first make this adjustment, you'll notice it'll uh, change it all the way across each HDMI setting. If you don't want to have that go to that specific mode, um, you can always default back to standard, uh, which is the standard setting for your picture setting. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can go in and adjust motion flow setting. This is going to give you the option to either set it to off, auto, or just uh, whatever default you may have at that present time. Once you've chosen the uh, appropriate video settings for those inputs, you're going to go ahead and click OK. The next box is our audio adjustments. Uh, this is whether or not we're using TV speakers built into the TV, or maybe you've got it connected to a sound bar. Um, if you've got it connected to a sound bar, you can click that audio system and the TV will then talk to uh, the sound bar. Uh, so easy uh, audio adjustment right there. Ambient light sensor, you can quickly enable or disable this feature and the TV will adjust its brightness based on the ambient light in the room. Also have our Apple AirPlay and HomeKit and our Google Cast. These are great features for your customer that maybe wants to uh, you know, watch content on their uh, mobile device and stream it directly to the television. Uh, it's also good to potentially disable these if you're dealing with a lot of network chatter in that home when you're setting these up. So you have the ability to go in and easily enable or disable both Apple AirPlay and Google Cast. Uh, last one on the top right is our banner UI. Uh, this is a really cool feature if you want to hide those banners that pop up where you may be getting a potential uh, call from a customer showing that maybe the TV is not connected to the network or uh, like firmware updates. If you don't want to see those banner updates, you can go ahead and hide this feature, uh, which is a great setting to use as well too. Um, on the second line here, I'm going to scroll down. This is our IP control. So we're going to have our, our partners that we have for our control partners, such as control four. We can easily enable or disable um, control four settings if you're using IP control. Same with simple IP. Um, you've also got your pre-shared key if you're going to be using uh, control partners like Savant. Um, here's where you can access that. Um, or Crestron if you want to enable, disable, or open source uh, licenses. So you can see that you can easily access um, IP control from the second menu, which is really, really a good tool to use. Um, you can also set the admin password. Uh, note when you do this, uh, make sure you write down that password setting because once you set it, uh, you'll need that password to get back into those settings again. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over this feature for now, but you have the ability to set that admin password so your client isn't you know, accidentally maybe getting into this and, and screwing up some settings. Um, next, as we go down, we've got our auto software update. Uh, this is going to allow you to turn off your firmware updates to where the TV doesn't automatically adjust those. So default is on. Of course, you always want the latest firmware update. Certain installations, you may not want that to turn on. So you have the ability to turn it off from this screen here. Power savings, um, of course, you know, if you turn it off, low, high, it's going to use more or less uh, power to power uh, the television. Uh, you may find that the TV is not as bright in some of those settings when you have it set to that low setting. 
Initial input source. This is a great tool to use where you have, uh, you know, maybe multiple HDMI inputs connected to the TV and you want to prevent the customer from potentially making a mistake and change into a different input. Uh, we can set the initial input as whatever input we'd like, HDMI one through four, or of course our video input. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this to off, but um, all you have to do is power cycle the TV and the TV will revert back to the initial input that you chose here. The other thing to point out, so you'll notice the orange uh, power button on Google Cast, initial import, uh, input source, and your RS-232 control. That signifies that you have to turn off the TV and back on again for these um, updates to happen, for these to be implemented. That's all that orange button means there on the, on the top right. Timers and clock, you can go in and you can configure, um, you know, if, if you've got a specific time that you wanted to set it to. Once you connect the TV to the network, it should automatically track your time and location. Um, RS-232 control, this is kind of a nice little feature. You can have this um, activated via the HDMI port or through the serial port. So um, if you don't want to use RS-232, of course, you can always turn that feature off as well. Um, next is going to be the inputs. Uh, we can hide or we can show these. So for example, you know, why would you want to hide these? Well, if you've only got one HDMI cable connected to the television, maybe it's HDMI 3, um, you don't necessarily need the other inputs. So you can easily hide these inputs so you only show the HDMI input that's currently being used. A uh, really great feature to use here in CI Tools dashboard. Same with the, uh, the video setting as well too. You can show or you can hide that. Uh, lastly, on the list here in these boxes is our install APK. Uh, you can sideload apps into this television because you know whether it's an Android or a Google television, you have the ability to do that. So if you choose this feature, you can install specific apps that you have loaded from, uh, from your USB port. A really neat feature to use if there's something that you wanna access that maybe wasn't available on the TV originally. Um, those are all the settings that you can get in and adjust. Uh, really, really easy being from, from uh, one screen. You don't have to go in and navigate multiple menus anymore. Super, super seamless and easy to do. Um, the last feature I'll, I'll tell you about is something that I think is a great tool to use. If you're on a project and maybe you've sold multiple televisions, we're looking at an X95K here, maybe you sold three or four of these to your customer and you wanna go ahead and you wanna set up your initial TV, but you wanna copy those settings to each other television in the house, and you don't wanna to have to you know, waste time navigating again, you can copy those settings to a USB drive and you can easily apply them directly to uh, the other TVs uh, in the home that you're programming. So easy to do, you just have it loaded onto um, a USB drive. So once you, you choose that copy settings, you'll see there that the settings are now copied to that USB drive. So super simple, easy to do. Uh, lastly, all the adjustments that you've made in the CI Tools dashboard, whatever you've changed, make sure you go up here to the top right and you click apply settings. Once you click this, it's gonna go through and it's gonna take a, you know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute to go through and make sure that those settings are, are applied to the television. We hope that you enjoyed learning about all that CI Tools dashboard has to offer. This feature is here to help you save time and prevent potential truck rolls or service calls. If you have used this on an install, we'd also love to get your feedback on how it went. Please be sure to reach out to your local Sony representative with any questions. And as always, be on the lookout for more of these helpful videos coming your way. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.